Come on now. Uh-oh. Right. Yeah. 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 All right, we live everywhere. Okay, now you... Grab that when you need it. I don't know what the hell to do about this, but I'm gonna play with it. What's going on, nigga? Blue, Ben. Everybody go. How we go? Everybody know how to go live. Anybody know? Then Instagram them via Facebook, however you want something. And we praying to God we can do this show. We're losing power to the laptop. <laughs> See, I pray for these and start out 2022. <laughs> Go ahead and close the door. Flawless wants to send me a message. All right, Flawless Fitting. If you would like to be a guest. DM me right now. You must have a business. All right. I ain't got no screen over there. I'm just doing uh on this box right now. Okay. Hold on, I can't hear nothing through the damn headphone. All right. I ain't got time to be sitting here playing with TikTok today. Boom. Bob it. Throw some music behind. Mm. All right, we live on Twitch, we live everywhere. Mm -hmm. Good to be back. Yeah. Feel good to be back today. Yeah. I've been through it, brother. <laughs> I've been exposed. <laughs> you got an announcement? Oh, what's uh Wednesday next week discussion? Wednesday? Oh, wealth what wealth building Wednesday? Nah, discussion next Wednesday. Online. Virtual discussion. Oh what's um, the date? You know the date? Oh date, 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 date. Next Wednesday, next Wednesday. Oh, it would be the twelfth. Uh, twelfth. Yep. January twelfth. Update the title. Six thirty. We'll be sending that info. That's my February what? Fifth? Uh, fifth. At what time? Oh, snap. July. Oh, July. No. July. It's July. July. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Woo! And we are back right here on the number one rated business. So it is a brand new year, and I am all way hype. I am so crunk. We got the real deal, Jeff Bill, in the house what's with us up, today. What's up, what's up? And he said he got the sauce for all 2022. We're going to have a good show today. Yep, yep, yep. As always, we got to get some announcements out of the way. If you are out in the Smyrna area, I would like you to go visit my good friends over at Titans Fitness. They are located at 1834 South Cobb Industrial Boulevard, Southeast, Smyrna, Georgia, 30082. You can visit them online at titans.net. Uh, you can go up and get trained. You can go over there and get way too sexy like your boy KC. I'm just saying. <laughs> the brand new year, get your body right, get your mind right, and get your money right. Because that's what we're doing here on the number one rated business show. Can can I get an agreement? Yeah. Can I get some agreement? Yeah, okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> all day, every day. And for all my folks out in the Douglasville area, and I am going tomorrow, I got my appointment already booked, to go see my barber over at Studio 1211. I want y'all to all come with me. Don't come at the same time because it's my appointment at 830. But <laughs> I want everybody to come over uh, and see my good friend, uh, Melvin Bowden, over at Studio 1211 out there in Douglasville, uh, 6405 Fairburn Road. You can call and schedule an appointment at 770 -8 uh 770 6772 So whew, it's, we gotta get rolling, bro. We gotta do it, man. We got we, we gotta get rolling. COVID back. It ain't going away, y'all. It's not going away. I had to, I had to learn how to work with yeah. 
we're gonna have to work with it. A lot of virtual, a lot of back in the house, right? So what I'm looking at, we got to do something, man. It, it's the beginning of the year. We were barred with phone calls. Folks need advice. Folks want help. This is what we're gonna do. I, I ain't ready to do an event yet. I'm not, cause everybody been at home. The Christmas season, all the type of stuff that happened. I want to make sure that folks is safe. I want to make sure that folks is healthy. But for all my business owners out there, I want to make sure y'all get paid and get your year started right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So January the 12th at 6.30 p.m. And we will be putting out information on how you can get involved. This is a free event. We will be doing our discussions on a virtual platform that you have never seen. It's going to be so exciting. <laughs> but we will be doing our discussions from a virtual standpoint. Uh, but what, 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 how do we call, coin that? How bad do you want it? 2022, how, how bad do you, do you want, want it? it? Hold on. However do you want it? However you want it. However do you need it? But that's how it's going to be. So if if you don't want it that bad this year, I promise you, I by think. the end of the year, you're going to have some regrets. Yeah. You're going to have some bills. You're going to have some red in that level. You know what I'm saying? I think they want it, though. I really oh, yeah. do. I think they want it this year. But 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 join me. The rock star himself, the real deal, Jeff Bill, Mr. Marketology, and the coach's coach for discussions January 12th, 6 30 p.m. From 6 30 to 7. We got some nice little fun that we're gonna do some online networking with everyone. I got a special rock star guest that's coming in, as well as we're gonna get our panel started at seven o'clock. We're gonna end at eight o'clock, okay, because <laughs> we do things on time. But we're gonna give y'all some great advice and some great ways to get started for 2022. And in this time. Until now, because after the 15th, y'all everybody gonna get a card bill, y'all gonna pay the credit card bill from Christmas, and then it's gonna be time to go to work. I'm telling you. True, true, true. So, whoo, man, I, I don't even know where to get started. It's a brand new year. Well, let's talk about some of these segments we're gonna have, man. Man, because we're gonna have some stuff coming up this year. So we we we've got just number one, we got five days a week now. So we on every day at three o'clock. I want everybody to set their alarms. I want everybody to set your, your Facebook. I get ready to share at every three o'clock during the week from three to four. But hold on, and we're also gonna be restreaming it. So if you didn't get it, we're gonna give it to you when you have time to watch it. Catch the restream. Catch the restream. So, oh, and get get the engineer some love too. Get, get, get Greg some love today. Get Greg, get yourself some love. Get, get get yourself a clap, Greg. Get a drum or some. <laughs> <laughs> but now nah, everybody seriously seriously we want you to help we want to help you get your year started right because it is a very 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 critical year for a lot of businesses a lot of people didn't didn't survive a lot of folks trying to come back a lot of folks just hanging on yeah so people are ready we energetic we ready to get out there yeah we're gonna slow down a little bit but we got to get moving dog yeah and, and this ain't going nowhere so we got it we got to roll with it that's, that's real you know man. yeah yeah what's going on is, is very serious out there and, um, you know, a lot of people are really struggling. I mean, you know, they're trying to trying to take old ways into new new times. And, and that just doesn't work. Now, one thing that we did say, uh, 2022 is a year no more free. OK, <laughs> I can't do it. Discussions will always be a free platform because we love to do it. We love the folks that show up. We love helping our business owners. But if you are really serious about your business, and like my good friend here with the sauce, I always like to say, if you're ready to get on the fast track with your business, if you're ready to get branded and become the rock star of your industry, yeah. we're going to show you how to do it February 5th mm -hmm. at our mastermind. We have it live in Midtown. We will give you all the address and everything. It's $497. Yeah. It's going to be the best investment you've ever spent because this $500 investment, I promise you, going to net you at least 20 grand yeah. in, the, in the third month. Yeah. In and the third month. And it's going to be COVID safe, too. We're going to make sure everybody's safe when they're out there. Oh, yeah. We're going to make sure that everybody's having fun while they're out there. And we're going to make sure everybody learns something while they're out there. So, and, and, and I'm glad you mentioned that because that is one thing that we do very, very take serious. I'm a, I'm a father. I got kids. You know, I want to make sure everyone is safe. I know a lot of folks. Y'all got to go out to other folks at home. So, we have a line for life chiropractic. They will be on, on staff. Checking temperatures. These are doctors. Yeah. Okay. I ain't, I ain't coming at you with nurses. We got doctors on staff. They'll be checking your temperature. If you have any problems, you have any symptoms, anything like that, we'll have tests on hand, everything to make sure that we keep this a safe event. And we got enough room to spread everybody out and keep them six feet apart. So it's time to get started. This, we're going to have to live with COVID. All right. It's 19. 
You know what I'm saying? It's COVID-19. We live with before. So we got to get back to business and we got to get our economy going. And a lot of us got to get our personal economy going right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game has changed, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, the days of uh, we just going to have brick and mortar and everybody just going to come out, you know, those days are over. So you got to adjust. And, you know, even the days with digital. See, a lot of times we think that just because it's, oh, well, I have a digital experience that I'm different. But now you, it's more saturated. So the game has changed all the way across the board. Oh, my God. We even going to TikTok this year. <laughs> we will go to day, though. <laughs> we gonna wait till we got a little bit more help on now. But now business owners, I, I'm already getting these calls, man. Like, really. A lot of folks is asking, you know, what should I do? How do I get this? How do I get this year started? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People are starting to wonder, all right. Where is going to be my best opportunities? Where do I need to advertise? And that's a lot of the stuff that we're going to be going over all this stuff. Yeah. Like for real. And so if you are ready to get your business going, like really, if you're ready to explode your business, we done done that one before. But if you're ready, really ready to move your business this year and you're ready to compete with these folks out here, I promise y'all, y'all better be a part of this mastermind. Be a part of it and be a part of all the content. Really. I mean, law A. And we got some surprises coming up for you. Cause bro, we got some new rock stars y'all ain't ready for. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be nice, man. You're going to learn everything from how to run your business, but also how to have that work-life balance. Oh, yeah. How to make your finances work. You know, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be be off the chain. Now, now, going back to this mention of these new segments we're going to be doing this year, because last year we had a lot, a lot of great guests. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had some wonderful guests. I mean, Miss Bella Black, Rodney Perry. Uh, I mean, the list goes on. Lorenzo Sanford, Miss Nella Joy. I mean, we just, just great, just great group. But this year we want to we want to add a little bit more to it. Yeah. So on Mondays is officially get money Monday. So everybody, all y'all startups, all y'all young folks, everybody that want to be an entrepreneur, want to get started. Every Monday we're gonna give y'all ten businesses that y'all can get started with right away. No money. Start making money this afternoon. You don't have to do a little work. <laughs> you got to work to become a lizard. But you got to do a little work. But we're gonna help y'all. And we got a special guests coming on. For all y'all out there that want to do these courses, the child so full of knowledge, the child want to share with folks, we're going to show y'all how to do it, how to get it out there, how to market it, and how to monetize it. Definitely, definitely. And then Transformational Tuesday, Oof. you know, that's to get your mind right. That that That's for those that need to, a little bit of motivation, but a little bit of inspiration. But also, if you're not trying to have nobody in your business, this isn't for you. You know, this is the time for everybody to go ahead and look within and go ahead and get motivated get inspired but also transform yourself into a better self yeah so those transformational tuesdays is going to be powerful and as an entrepreneur you got to yeah you got to you you got to constantly keep reinventing yourself you got to constantly keep doing something new every year you got to come back with something else you know what i'm saying so it is it's important to understand transformation it is important to always constantly be full of that i'm, I'm just self-developing yeah like I'm 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 getting a little tired though, cause like all the motivational videos, I bro, it's the same speakers in the same statements but see, every because, time. I can't. It's because they haven't been exposed to others. Miss Bella Black, how you doing like that, girl? What Bella is on the line, bro? Instagram off the chain because of her. I'm trying to Yo, tell you. I, I saw she was over the over the pond, as they say, <laughs> over in London, over there with the queen. <laughs> But nah, man, that, that, that transformation as a person and everything, because, you know, as you start to get older, and you, you start to kind of go a little bit more within, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because when you're young, you try to change everything around, you think that's going to change you, and it don't do nothing. That's but true. as you get a little older, you know, you really start to go within, and there's so many great folks out here right now that's talking about transformation, that's talking about how you go within and fix some of this stuff. It's not only hurting your life, but it's hurting your business. Yeah, and really your business is to make your life better. Oh yeah. I mean, really, at the end of the day. Oh yeah. So, so that that's gonna be it. And then, what we doing on Wednesdays, man? Shh, man, the cap build a minute on Wednesdays. I can't wait to get him out here. I, I I just can't. The cap build a minute on Wednesdays. I'm telling you, it's gonna be it's gonna be insane, brother. Yeah. It's like advice every Wednesday that you can use right here today in your business and change things. But I mean, bro, it's gonna be a great year. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be it. And also, it's gonna be a wealth building Wednesdays as well. So, you know, all those talking about generational wealth, all oh, yeah. those trying to, to make sure that you're not only straight, but your your family's straight from generations to come. Got to leave some. Yeah. We got to leave some. We can't we, we, we can't keep dying with GoFundMe, bro. We can't. 
we got to start looking at this ain't just for me just for me and everybody else coming after me because trust me what i'm trying to leave behind for mine bro the whole line on the whole bloodline gonna, gonna gonna profit from it i'm trying to tell you hey that's what's up uh then on thursdays thursdays we really gonna dig in you know, we're gonna bring some big time folks, some big time CEOs, yeah. and, and really dig into some of these stories because folks need to hear it. Because the story of an entrepreneur is always an interesting story, how we fall into to success. But also, people need to understand there's a lot of pitfalls and this type of stuff, and it ain't personal. Yeah. It, it, it's just it, it come with the territory. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Now, now, everybody, I want to know if y'all are gonna go with the name Thirsty Thursdays. That's what, <laughs> that's what KC said it was gonna be. No, he did not. <laughs> He said thirsty Thursdays. Hey, but I am gonna have to get my my, uh, my party bus go back in here with the, with the pole. And now I'm trying to say we gonna have to turn up. We gonna we gonna have to great. We gonna do a live show on the party bus with the poles. All right. I'm with that. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Je I'm gonna let Jeff bring some. Hey hey hey, keep my name out. There. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, joining us uh, right now. I think we got him on the line. Joining us right now. He is known as the coach's coach, and once again, he is my coach. Uh, and a part of the reason why I am the rock star of Brandon to this day, Mr. Mark Parham. How hey, you doing? All right, boy. Doing a thing, bro. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't introduce you, right? He. Happy <laughs> New Year. He didn't introduce. You. It's supposed to be money, Mark. Money. <laughs> <laughs> It's time though, like 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 we talked about the other day, man. You got to be out here and you got to be doing stuff, and it's time to get visible. And it's really, really time to to get out here and get back to it, man. Because we like like we was talking about, there COVID ain't going nowhere. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I, I know folks have been vaccinated, got on their third vaccine, yeah. and they still coming up with it and this type of stuff. This is here to stay. We got to live with it, but business cannot stop again. We can't shut things down again because too many people lost way too much. Too yeah. many folks are, uh, are, are way below the poverty line at this point. Like, for real. That's so true. That's so true. So, Mark, what you got on the horizon? What's coming up? <laughs> true. Oh yeah. And probably burn your cow. <laughs> Just like your engine gonna burn out trying to run around here with no plan. <laughs> but you know one of the biggest things one of the biggest things that you did reference an action plan like i am so sick of folks with ideas i believe and all this type of stuff i i, I love your belief i really do but if that belief don't force action ain't nothing gonna happen I'm sorry. It's just faith without works is dead. So if you ain't got something that you're going to actually do and actually get out here and do it on a consistent basis, stop all this. I put an ad out today. Ain't nobody respond to it, baby. I didn't put an ad. I don't know how many times anybody respond to it. And I still keep putting them out. I, I mean, really, we're going to have to be consistent this year. We're going to have to have a good strategy. We're going to have to have a good plan because I promise you, everybody feel just as excited and energetic as I do today. I promise you. Yeah. Yeah, and if you don't, I'm going to beat you up out of cup of bra. <laughs> Look, that competitiveness, that's why he's wearing, wearing that red and black right there. Rohit joining all the way from India, I for this corporation in the house. Man, they got some great stuff going on out there in India, bro. We got to get over there. Like, I, we spoke out there. We we uh, spoke to a group of uh, female entrepreneurs out there. Just the whole spirit. Mark, Mark speak to this for a second. What is this, this whole spirit? Now, everybody want to be an entrepreneur. Like entrepreneur now is like the new rapper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I 
Oh, yeah. And if you want to get your business in front of millions all over the world, uh, like my good friend and Rohit, my, my good friend Rohit Nadu checking in. But if you want to get your business in all over the world, I suggest this year you partner with the number one rated business. I had to put it in there. I had to put it in. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Who it's whoever. the first of the year, bro. We got to re up on our sponsors. <laughs> hey, hey. Speaking of sponsors, <laughs> nah, yeah, sponsorship is now available and open. Exactly. <laughs> trying to get out there, you know, let us know, let us know. But no, nah, man, it, it's just this whole spirit now. And like you said, it, it's necessary. And all these folks want to be entrepreneurs. Folks have had all this time at home to really, really go within. And they starting to see, I ain't really happy every day. I ain't really happy clocking in at this job, building somebody else's dream when I got my own sitting inside me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So... Anybody say, have you, have you seen, you got to go get it. <laughs> but, but you know. Exactly. What you willing to do? Don't come to me with no money, with, with no plan. I can, we fix and help you for free at this point. I can't because you're not helping yourself. If you won't invest in you, no one is going to invest in you. If you won't put the money in, I'm not going to put the money in either. I just got to be real with y'all in 2022. Like, for real, I'm, I'm through BSing. I didn't try to be nice. Stop being angry, man. I can't. I got so much I'm angry about right now. I am so mad at the I'm so mad at the vein of tucks of this world. Even caught on. I love you, dude. And you kind of feel like an older meal just a little bit, but me and you gonna have a talk. Cause some of this stuff you telling folks ain't working. And folks is following this stuff and then they falling behind bad. And then you know the fallout that come behind that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. But don't be angry, man. Come on. Man. I'm I'm gonna beat them down this year. <laughs> but now going on, man, and moving on. You know, it, it's always that that spirit in the beginning of the year. Everybody all got these bright, starry eyes. We all, you know, got this great outset on, on life. You know what I'm saying? What should folks really be thinking right this second, Mark? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, now explain this whole because we, we, you know, we, we, we started this phenomenon uh, uh, last year. But explain this superpower to folks because I don't want folks to get it twisted or, or get mistaken. Explain this whole this whole mentality of a superpower. Okay. Wow. Mm. Gavin. <laughs> I just like the help phone, man. Casey. I like the help phone, man. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm gonna need y'all to help me now though. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm have to do it, man. Y'all been beating me over the head, but I'm gonna have to go and do it this year. I'm doing it though. I'm doing it. So I'm listening, coach. I'm listening, coach. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we can't do that no more, though. No, nah, we can't do that. Because, but now, and, and this is the other thing, because a lot of us want to help folks, but sometimes you don't realize, bro, that help will drag you, bro. 
and, and trying to help other folks in this type of stuff. And you got to be real. You really have to be real. Yeah. If you come into me and you ain't got nothing, you know what I'm saying? You ain't really helping yourself yet. And you ain't at the level where I can help you yet. For yeah. real. I, I need you to have a plan. I need you to have a little money. You ain't got to be rich, but you're going to have to have something to invest in this thing. Because trust me, businesses don't run on free. Yeah. <laughs> they don't run on hopes and wishes. They do not. Now, when we started talking about developing this superpower, I, I've understood this is what I can do. I'm the best chicken cooker in the world. I can I can make ribs better than anybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want me to cook out. What do I do with that? What's the next step? Let me tell you something, bro. Just hearing them say that. Let me tell y'all, you will fail your way to success. <laughs> like, seriously, because everything he just mentioned, bro, with so many mistakes in front of all that, <laughs> just keep swimming, bro. Please, just keep going. I promise you, you'll get it right eventually. If you can make it through the cash flow. <laughs> that's true. Now, now, talking about cash flow, because that's going to be an important part. Because, you know, a lot of times it's a little slow in the, in the beginning. You 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 amped up, but the business don't come right away. How do you need to be thinking about cash flow this year, Mark? Now, 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 Mr. Marcus Hodge over here, he's king of working and not working. <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody automate everything. I need, okay. I need that shirt. I need that shirt. I'm the right king there. of working or not working. <laughs> I guess. Don't nobody try to steal it. <laughs> but no, nah, man, it's like, because it's so much other stuff that we need to be focused on. I tell business owners every day, every time they call me and, and they start talking about all this other stuff about marketing videos and all this type of stuff, is you getting customers. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you're the one person that, that really, really identify with this because you understand it because you know how to put this stuff, like you say, automatically mm -hmm. on autopilot and then you can focus on what's actually important. So how is it or what do folks need to be thinking or doing to go ahead and start getting everything in line to start setting up these systems and stuff? What do I need to set up this year? I would say this. I would say do this. Put a, uh, a sheet of paper, put a line down the middle. Put whatever that task is going to be and then ask this question. Is it creating revenue Who? or busy work? <laughs> and then check that box. And if it's creating revenue, it might be something you need to continue to do. If Man. it's creating busy work, it might be something you might need to outsource, automate, or just get rid of altogether. But I, I, I can promise you the busiest times of my business, I made no money. It's like you get in these habits and you just doing, 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 doing. And then before you know it, you look up. I ain't had nothing come in in weeks. What yeah. am I doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, it's so crazy how you get so caught up in that busy work. Mark, like, what do you do to stay out of that busy work? Whew. And that's why you clock out at 10 a.m. <laughs> that 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 sound right there, Mark. I mean, I gotta go to commercial. I got a sponsor I got to take care of today. But uh, can you hold on for me for about two or three minutes to the commercial break so we can hold you to the end? All right, bro. 
Uh, you listen to the number one radio business show right here on Real 1100 and all over the world on iHeartRadio. It is Jeff Bill, the real deal. Mr. Marketology and the rock star Casey himself will be back after this. Bro, I'm hot as hell. I saw you doing that. What's going on, Miss Nia? E E E E. Thank you so much for joining the show. My dude, Rohit. Man, Rohit is a bad dude. He's a young cat, and uh, his grandfather, mm -hmm. uh, his whole family they own a textile mill. Like this brother can make this shirt from some thread. Like for real, I can't wait. We we building it up now so we can start doing business because like. With India, bro, I can't go over there and be like, hey, bro, send me a send me a shirt. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We can't put that on a container ship. But I'm telling you, man, that that young cat there, I can't wait to get him over here to America to speak, man. Man, that's not oh yeah. Like the way he's inspired them folks over there. He got young folks over there, man. I'm talking about. Matter of fact, we gotta get him on the show. Okay. But he got these young folks over there, man. Just just on fire for entrepreneurship and this type of stuff. It is awesome. Man, they got a different type of grind over there, in India. Shh, man. We take it for granted over here, man. Mm -hmm. We spoil and don't know it. Yeah. Like it's hard in America. Don't get me wrong, but bro, you got some opportunity. You can get off your butt and do something. That's true. But you gotta get off your ass, you know what I'm saying? That's true. <laughs> and nobody gonna get it to you here. <laughs> BMW, if you're out there, if you're watching. <laughs> nah. I'm gonna come by there. <laughs> We definitely gonna do that, bro. Them damn run flats, man. They, they drive me nuts. Oh, did you? Cause you know out? I like drive fast. Yeah. Did, did you find out if it was on? Uh, I ended up you? in a meeting on the oh, way up here, and I ain't even man. stopped, so I'm gonna have to throw some air in there. But you know, I, I keep it on hundred, bro. <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you, it's getting scary because like hundred starting to get slow to me. Like I can't ride seventy no more. Cause you know, on twenty, you can do whatever you want to, bro. Yeah. Like the way they be coming on twenty down at night. Man, it was a dude, he was next to me in a Hellcat. Bro, it was like up to like 120. And I just couldn't keep him no more. Cause you know, I, I just got the twin turbo four something. So, mm -hmm. but man, I'm talking about me and him neck and neck right there, 120. Next thing I know, he put that thing down on him. Mm. I saw it. I'm coming back with the M5. You out there. I'm going to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> and we are back right here on the number one rated business show with the number one uh, rated audience all over the world right here on real 1100 and iheart radio uh still in studio i mean still on the line with us mr mark parham you see that with us bro all right but before we went to break we were talking about you know these pitfalls that entrepreneurs fall in mm -hmm. and, and another one like we talked about last time we were together is that shiny ball sim syndrome oh man it's like I, every time i see money i got to run towards it yeah just just what what what's some things? Cause it is gonna be a hell of an opportunity type year. I promise y'all. Wait till after the fifteenth. But what are some of those things that entrepreneurs need to do, Mark, to stay focused this year and not fall into trying to follow every little opportunity that that, that call? <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. What he told me. Mm. Mm. Now, now, Jeff, what is it that you do? Because you're notorious. Don't nothing move, Jeff. Like, it's funny. I don't care what you put in front of him. It's, nah, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm straight, dog. I ain't worried. You know, I'm doing me. You know what I'm saying? So why is it that – how do you stay so focused? Because me, bro, I, I, you get the right number up there. I'm going to go. <laughs> well, I, I think I think you get – when you go through enough, clients and you go through enough stuff you then start to say is this really an opportunity or i'm all you know you, it, it's just like it's like getting bad friends <laughs> it's easy when you're young to get friends but it's hard to get rid of them oh, so you man. gotta evaluate is this really a good opportunity or is this gonna be a headache in disguise Ooh. and that's how i do it i just be like let me think about it for just a second and if it sounds like it's gonna be a headache Nah, I don't need these problems. I'm, I'm going to tell you, as I'm getting older, man, I'm starting to learn stuff about myself. And come to find out, I'm what's called an empath. Mm -hmm. And that's where all this I want to help folks stuff come from. And see, when folks put their stuff on me, I can feel it. And then I'm in bed with you with it. Now, it's like, bro, you're going through, oh, but you, I feel it. 
I, I gotta help this too. But see, you got you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you gotta understand there's some people that are energy transfers. Yeah. So what they do is they like, okay, yo man, I'm gonna tell you I got this problem, blah blah blah. You like, oh, tell me about it, man. How can I help? And then I tell you, and then it's off me. I forget all about it. And now it's I all on me. Dad. I'm with it. I go on my day. Then you come back, be like, hey man, I figured out a solution to your problem. You're like, what problem? <laughs> you know. And you're tired of two, three days with this. Yeah. I, I, I'm just like, man. Cause it's like I'm sad. I'm having to let go of folks now, and it hurts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause I've had long uh, relationships with folks. We've been through ups and downs and this type of stuff, and it hurt. But I'm at the point in my life where I got to do me. You got. I've been building folks, organizations, and stuff for years now. Like mm -hmm. seriously, and, and it's not brag. It's not bragging because I ain't gonna tell you the, fo the folks I work with. But I've been building other folks' dreams for a long time, and I ain't stopped and focused on my own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and I got to do. You got it. to, man. But tell them about Brandon with pride. I mean, tell them about Brandon. You've been asking us all these questions, trying to hide and mask you from the spotlight. <laughs> oh, I mean, no, no. But seriously, you have got to get out there. Mm -hmm. If your face is not synonymous with what you do, you ain't doing it right. Like, literally, I have been all over the place in my career. But one thing has always, always, always stayed the same. As soon as you see me, he do Brandon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has always been that way. But one of those one of those biggest things when it comes to branding, it's like you have got to learn how to craft this message. Mm -hmm. All has got a story. Unfortunately, a lot of our stories is true. Mine is, oh, my God. But <laughs> when you start talking about this story, what is the message in this? And what did God send through me to give it to everybody else? Yeah. Now, how do I take this message and bring it down into something that people can, can, can kind of feel and see? You know what I'm saying? How do I take everything that I've been through and turn it into pride? And then when you put the shirt on, I want you to feel the same pride I feel when you wear it. So that is the branding with pride is this is my message. This mm -hmm. is my superpower. OK, this is my message to the world. And this is how I'm going to take this message. and I'm going to put it on everything possible that I can say. But <laughs> it ain't just about selling it. It's really about communicating that message. Yeah. Because when you show up, I know you do marketing, period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I see Mark, I know I knew he was gonna tell me about business plan in the first place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew every answer to the question was gonna be business plan because it's true. But it's this thing of this is what I do, this is who I am. Because what you find is when you really get down to it, mm -hmm. if you really a true entrepreneur and you walking in your purpose, bro, you don't never take a day off. Oh, yeah. this is who I am all the time. And you never retire. Never. Mm. Because I ain't working. You see what I'm saying? It's not work. I ain't even getting paid today. So <laughs> it really ain't working. <laughs> hey. Oh, to oh to the listeners. To the listeners. If we get a hundred thousand listeners, KC said he's gonna come in here oh my with God. a kiss makeup on. What? He's be a real rock star. Oh no. A real rock star with the kiss makeup. Y'all is not in, gonna pimp me out. Doing it. You're just not gonna pimp out the light skin one. You're not. I'm oh, sorry. You might as well, man. Go ahead and do it for the gram. He might as well do it, bro. I will. I, I will tank talk. I'm joking. You wear a kiss t-shirt. <laughs> but Mark, what what tell me this? Because you walk in your purpose every day. As you start to do this, how is it for you? You know what I'm saying? As you start to move in this purpose, do you find that things become easier? Things become a lot more focused for you and this type of stuff? Or is it it is still crazy? Okay. Don't never get easier, bro. Yeah. You know that. that let, let's stop on that for a minute, because that has been uh, one advice I have heard over and over. Learn how to say no. Yeah. Just learn how to say no. And a lot of times, especially entrepreneurs, I, I see this a lot in entrepreneurs. We feel like we got to say yes to everybody. Anytime somebody tell us something, how is it? How do you do that, Mark? And you don't feel selfish and you don't feel, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm really trying to grow this year and I'm trying to I'm trying to do these type things. But how is it that you say no and be like, you know. And, and it's so funny. It's so funny because he don't give you no explanation. He ain't lying. He's just gonna say no. And he threw. I ain't got to explain it to you, bro. I'm busy and none of this type of stuff.
Oh, yeah. But does it mean I'm being selfish? Am I being selfish by saying no? All right. <laughs> help me help you show me the money now, now no I, I i hear you all the way man and and the other thing about that though, because I'm trying to I'm trying to dispel a lot of the stuff that I hear all the time. You know, uh, I can't say no to stuff, all this type of stuff. Now the other thing is money, being money focused. Is something wrong with having your business and focusing in on making the money? Yes or no? Mark, I said, you know, people have all these 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 weird stigmas, right? Is it something wrong with being focused on making your money and your business and this type of thing because so many people feel like if it's if it's about the money something wrong or i shouldn't be so focused on money i should be focused on something else you know what i'm saying but see my thing is i can't help nobody if i ain't got no money you know what i'm saying but you we hear this all the time like i don't, I don't it ain't about the money and all this well, what you started bed for <laughs> that, that's the problem <laughs> Because the, the main thing is I want folks to get this stuff out of their head this year. Like, stop worrying about all that stuff that don't matter. And just focus on your business this year. Just focus on your plan. Focus on your strategy. And let's get moving. How bad do you want it? And you, we're going to find out January 12th at discussions <laughs> from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. We're going to have a great time, man. Yeah, it's Not, not, not give just don't 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 give it all the way, but just give a few little secrets about trying to trying to get focused and, and, and really, really trying to get. All right. This is what I'm going to do this year. I'm going to stay focused. I'm going to stay out the way. I'm gonna, I ain't going to let folks pull me off my path and this type of thing. Just give folks a few tips on what they need to start doing and getting lined up correctly. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. I did everything I was supposed to do by eleven o'clock. Everything else, everything else has been a bonus for me. <laughs> now, now, and, and I, I know, know what you're getting. getting I do because I, I read it. <laughs> now, <laughs> why is it? Why is that so so you know important? Now? Like, but this that's just it. Reading books, listening to people. We both read the same Bibles. <laughs> you know, but it's important. No, it's I very important. And, and then, then one, one of the biggest, biggest things, things is, is what I found is progress is happiness. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know about no one else. I ain't gonna speak for nobody else. But the happiest moments in my life is forward motion. I ain't gotta be making major wins as long as I'm moving forward. Yeah. But when it stagnate and it stop, bro, I am depressed. But talk about this though. In two, uh, 21, 
when you are in your purpose, okay. you also get opportunities that come up. You know, once you're in your purpose, there's certain opportunities that present themselves that wasn't there before. Okay. But think about this. Last year, fourth quarter, how many opportunities did you get, Casey, that just opened up out of nowhere? Oh, somebody falling in your lap, brother. But it, it's that type of thing. Because when you are moving in the right direction and all this type of stuff, and it's like Mark one time told me, when the student is ready, the teacher up here. Yeah. And in business, when the business owner is ready, the partners up here. Yeah. And, and that's what we've been saying happening ever since. We started to connect, and everybody started to move, and we all focused, and we all moving into what we're supposed to do. Because, I mean, as we out here helping these folks and all this type of stuff, um, it, it ain't work. Yeah. It's not. And as you can see, bro, it's just getting easier and easier. You know what I'm saying? And all these years I was trying to do what I thought I was supposed to do and do what everybody else wanted me to do. Man, please. And how fast do you decide, like, okay, this isn't really what I'm supposed to be doing. Time to shift gears. It's a while. It took a while. And matter of fact, a lot of folks, uh, the number one right audience saw Because I used to bring everybody come in, how you find your purpose? How you find your purpose? How you find your purpose? <laughs> but what, what I found was, I woke up one day, I was saying, uh, matter of fact, because, you know, we just uh, moved out to the factory in the French shop, and I was saying, I was like, damn, man, I've been living my purpose since the day I was born. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was born to do what I'm doing, mm. and I've been doing it. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't know. It makes sense. Makes sense. What about you, Mark? How do you find these opportunities to open up? Because you've got people like, you know, on presidential levels be calling you up, talking about, hey, yeah, he's in cool, the back there with Obama. Obama. Yeah, he, he did. He, he <laughs> I don't know. That might have been a computer. A computer, yeah, computer I, I tell you what, as long as you stay on your purpose, you know, Jeff, I just think what you just said was so important because, you know, I, I do a lot of writing now. And as I made that my purpose, I got people calling me, hey, can you write this? Can you write that? I'm like, where is this coming from? So I think you're right in your statement about staying on your purpose, the things will come to you. And I think that's what people need to need to do, figure out what their purpose is and just stay on it. Oh, yeah. And they'll be, oh, yeah. they will get what they need to survive. Now, now one more thing we have to deal with. Oh. Taxes. <laughs> Taxes is coming up pretty soon. Most of y'all uh, on the end of the year right now. Better pay Caesar with Caesars. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what's some of the stuff that uh, you tell young entrepreneurs? Or you tell man, matter of fact, all these entrepreneurs. You know when you start talking about taxes, especially this time of the year, because I, I learned my lesson the hard way, brother. I, I call a big one at at. It's, well, I learned my lesson. I think we have all learned that. <laughs> yes. What I tell people yeah. is, hey, get yourself around people that know. Get yourself around people that know. Wait a minute. Get yourself around people that know about how to do business taxes. Oh, yeah. And then have them recommend what you need to be doing. Don't get around a bunch of folk that don't have a business trying to tell you how to file your business taxes because you are <laughs> going to get yourself him up. You're going to get yourself out of it. <laughs> yes. Hey, and it's funny because I, I learned from some very, very successful businesses. Sometimes when you owe, you win. Okay, and I couldn't realize that because I'm looking for them checks at that time of the year, and they were like, "Nah, man, I owe back X amount. I owe back thirty thousand. I owe back." I mean, you made like, a lot of money, bro. <laughs> yeah, and they said because I got a chance to keep my money throughout the year and make my money work for me Woo. versus the government keeping my money, making it work for them, and giving me back a bunch of pennies off <laughs> my dollars. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that. But then when I got around people that knew how to do business stuff. That's when I learned. They start talking about how you riding around in these cars, but is it in your business or is it in your name? Pay Can you write that everything form? through your business. I'm yes. telling you. Yes. Get around some folk that know what they're talking about. That's that's my two cents, and I'm off. But I like what you say. Get around some folks that know. You can't be everything. You can't be the financial person. You can't be the marketer. You can't be the you can't be the the, the talent. You can't be the CEO. You can't be the manager. You can't be everything. And like you say, get around experts that know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to get to a point in my life, bro. You do branding. You are not a financial whiz. Yes. Okay. You don't know nothing about all these taxes. <laughs> you need to go holler at somebody. <laughs> and the more money came in, it was like you really need to go talk to somebody because <laughs> you can your head bust. <laughs> I, call, I call Lisa. <laughs> I call Will Roundtree. I call Kemper County. <laughs> man, man, I'll be like, hey, I, I got a question. They be like, you only call me when you want. But a lot of times, you know, entrepreneurs and business owners. It's like you kind of start in this mode. You got to do everything. And then we we get this. We know everything type deal. Mm -hmm. I don't know everything. I don't want to know everything. I know branding. Don't yeah. ask me nothing else. <laughs> yeah. 
Mark, it's 2022, brother, and we we're coming to the end of the show. Uh, what we need to do? We need to figure out how bad we want it, all right? And then we need to develop a plan and move forward towards it. I think that's the most important thing. And to stay, stay focused, regardless of all the COVID, regardless of all the stuff that's going on right now, just stay focused on our plan. So, what do we need to do? Hey, Mark really summed it up. <laughs> stay focused on a plan. First of all, plan. You know the old saying, if you fail to plan, you plan, plan to, to fail. fail. So get a plan together, then take action. Execute that plan. Don't just sit on it, but mm. you got to execute that plan and, and and get around with people that celebrate your wins. Mm. That That's what I say. You know, one of the biggest yeah. things, man. Yeah. One, one of the really, really, one of the biggest things, honestly. Fast is the new big. I don't know if folks know that. Like being able to get to the market with your idea fast nowadays, mm -hmm. that is truly the new big. Yeah. Because it used to be, I got this huge organization, we so big, we so powerful. But now it's like technology and everything, the way it, as fast as it changed, bro. I didn't see, like, literally, we have seen Facebook change every three months over the course of two years. Man, yeah. Like, seriously, do you, have you seen just the interface and all that stuff now? Like, for real, it don't even look like the same thing I started with. So when everything is moving at this lightning pace, like, you got to get to the market quick. You got mm -hmm. this idea, and it sounds like a good idea. Uh, Somebody like it. I got a little proof of concept, bro. We got to go. Yeah. And stop sitting on it. Yeah. We're going to launch this next year. And then when next year get here, we're going to launch it next year. And then next year, when they get here, um, we're going to put it out for a couple more years. Yeah. I'm like, bro, you ain't going nowhere. Yeah. The um, Man, we got a great year. It's going to be a <sighs> exciting year, man. And I, I mean, with all the things we giving them, all the all the training, all the information, all the resources, mm -hmm. it, it's gonna be a great year, man. Oh, and we're yeah. gonna have some fun this year. That's what that's that's the goal. We're gonna have some fun this year, and we're gonna explore all kind of businesses too. Yeah, because it's like it's so much stuff out there now. Yeah, it is so many different new industries out there. We got to get into these these smoke shops because they are popping up all over the place. I've talked to a couple owners. Like these these things are are a hot commodity now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then the other side of that, all these other new businesses, man, you got new delivery services. You got, uh, you know, new restaurant experience. I remember the other day, Mark, you were telling me about some guy. He got a restaurant experience in virtual reality. So you can dine wherever you want to dine and eat whatever you right. want to eat in VR. Wow. I got to go see this. I got to know more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that metaverse, huh? <laughs> I, I, you know what I want to create, though? Because the person that came up with the raised room, that had the most genius idea in my life I have ever seen. Like. Just come in here and break up some stuff. <laughs> we got to get us one of them this year. We have got to get us one. Yeah. Whew, man. Hey, well, well, we got to give an altar call for we before we leave, though. You know, we got to give an altar call to any businesses out there that's looking to go ahead and let us know, us, our listeners, the people, the world, know about your business and what you have going on. Reach out to us. We love to hear more about what you got going on in 2022. And and beyond. And then, you know, of course, you know, KC going to talk about if any sponsors want to sponsor us. I wasn't going to say it yet. I wasn't going to say it yet. I'm going <laughs> to let you keep going for a minute. <laughs> but no, nah, if y'all got an interesting story, got a great business, let us know. If you want to sponsor, you want to get exposed, let us know. If you, you just want to ask questions, get on our chat, let us know. Exactly. If you want to get your brand out there, if you want to get some Z's, let me know. <laughs> But no, nah, man, it is. I'm so excited to finally be on this side of the 2022, and it and it came in turbulent. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It came in with storms and all this type of stuff, and it's an indication of what you're gonna see for the rest of the year. And I ain't talking about no storms. I'm talking about some real competition in business. It's fixing to get out there, bro. Yeah. And I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> it's time to run. You ready to rock, Mark? I'm ready to rock, my brother. So uh, discussions will be January 12th. It's the first time we ever did discussions virtual. And I was so against doing stuff virtual. And that's the reason why we have kind of stayed back from doing stuff. Because I like to be with folks. You know what I'm saying? I like to be with the people. You know what I'm saying? But just because we got to get rolling. And I know a lot of folks have been asking us, when y'all going to do something? We, we we so ready. We so pumped from the master classes and this type of stuff. So uh, this is our platform for everybody. You know, yeah. discussions is for everybody. And then you also can get a chance to ask some questions yourself. We got a, a virtual way that we can be able to take some questions and some answers. So it's going to be a great time. And closed mouths don't get fed. Woo! <laughs> he said we're bringing that sauce, Mark. <laughs> hey, 
it's time, man. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's it time. definitely is. And remember, 100,000 listeners, KC's going to put on makeup like Kiss. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm a, I'm a, we're going to have to stop letting him make up stuff on the album. <laughs> for real. I think he just came up with off the top of his head. <laughs> like, <for laughs> he says he's a rock star. We're going to see. I am the rock star. I'm going to tell you, you're going to see why when you come to the master class or the mastermind. I promise you that. What about instead of Kiss Prince? <laughs> I can rock with Prince. I don't know about the I don't know about the pirate shirt. I can't. I ain't, I, I can't pull that What about the six inch six inch uh, boots, bro? I can't do no six inch boots. I can't even do. I can barely do some just regular boots with those. That's just, I can't. I can't rock like that. Like it's, it's funny when I was young, I wanted to be Michael Jackson so bad. I was like ten years old. I used to dance. You know what a hutch is? Mm-mm. I'm telling on myself. But <laughs> a hutch is like a piece of furniture, and it's got like doors and cabinets on it, right? And it's it's made out of wood. Okay. And of course, I came up in the 80s. So I used to get up on top of the thing in my church clothes, just dance and just slide around the thing. I'm telling you, man. Your mama whooped you, didn't she? I did. I did get a whoop. <laughs> I kicked the vase off and broke it. It's all right. It's all right. But she forgave me. <laughs> she still let my mama pay me. <laughs> Mark, thank you so much for joining the program, man. I know all you're right. busy. I know, I know you got so much stuff to do, man. Before you yeah. get out of here, tell everybody how they can listen to you and uh, some of the stuff that you got coming up. I tell you what, all they need to do is right now, if you're interested in getting access to my stuff, you can text the word cat builder to 22828, or you can go to catbuildernetwork.com or Mark Parham, Mark spelled with a C.com, to find out more about me. But you're going to find out more during our discussions next week. And I'll, I'll, I'll open up my new website and everything I got going. But I'll launch it next week on our discussion show. And if you want to follow the number one rated business show, we are making some uh, a few changes online. Uh, we got a new brand new website coming out. We got a brand new Facebook page where you can keep up with the number one rated business show. I mean, we, me and Jeff have been working like crazy. Uh, if you want to follow me, as always, you can follow me at I am Casey Pride on Instagram and everywhere else. Jeff, you can follow me at Mr. Marketology on everything. Mr. Marketology on everything and i promise you like i say it's gonna be a great year even with the show just listen to the show bro you're gonna learn you're gonna learn so much about business yeah and like, it's for real we can't help you put doing. it out there we can't yeah it's just, we love this stuff too much man and you're gonna be entertained while we're doing it too oh yeah very very entertained oh y'all see my um check it out i'm wearing my uh mr rogers sweater <laughs> <laughs> This is not that neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> you are listening to UNT Balls of Life. That is dropping very, very soon this year in 2022. We will be back tomorrow, tomorrow. at 3 o'clock, bro. We working this week. Yes. We'll be back tomorrow at 3 o'clock right here on the Real 1100 AM iHeartRadio all over the world. Thank you, my folks in Africa, Mexico, uh, India, and everywhere else, all over America, California, and everywhere else. Thank y'all so much. And, girl, if you don't get about my DMs with all that craziness, I don't even know how to do something like that. All right? I don't mm. do that. That's nasty. Mm. <laughs> don't DM me no more. <laughs> we'll be back next day. week. <laughs> I mean, we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> And now, an important message from Steve Harvey. I've been thinking about this thing, right? This pandemic, it just isn't over yet. We got the vaccines. I got mine. You might have yours. And when you get that, it's kind of tempting. You want to go to the beach. You want to show up at the club. I'm not scolding you or nothing like that. I'm a performer. I'm tired of doing my shows with no audience. I get it. But listen to this. Don't think just because you got the vaccine that you could just go crazy. We are not quite there yet. Don't let your guard down now. Just follow the current.